Hey friends, today I'm gonna to be doing some holiday makeup because Thanksgiving is right around the corner, which means Christmas is here. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. It is time for all things holiday and all things glitter and glam and fun. So today I'm going all out with my makeup because it is time to do some holiday glam. So I don't have anything on my skin, so I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin and use my moisturizer and my primer. Both of them happen to be from Tula. I love Tula. This year um, was the first year that I've tried them, and I actually have a coupon code, um, and it's Claire Renee, and you can use that. I think it's 25% off, which is crazy. Um, that's a lot of percent off. But their products are so good. I literally have never loved a skincare brand more. Um, like, I love all of them, because usually I find a, like a product here and there, and then I don't love other things, but I have not had a product that did not work for me, and my skin has not been this clear for this long in ever. So I literally, I think it's Tula. Um, so right now I'm putting on their SPF Protecting Glow. So this is just like a um, sunscreen, but it has like hydrating properties and glowy properties, and it's an SPF 30. And I just love the way that it makes my skin look. And most days when I don't wear makeup, I just wear this by itself because it just makes your skin look super duper pretty. Um, and then recently I've been using their face filter primer and this is like a super popular one by them. I had a different primer, but this one is amazing. I love that one a little bit more than the other one I was using. Um, but before I put the primer on, I'm going to use the Rose Glow and Get It Under Eye Balm. I talk about this a lot on my Instagram because it is so good. And as you can see, I have some dark circles. Um, this obviously can't take them away or really hide them because it's just like a skincare product. But the way that it just makes it glow underneath my eyes and it hydrates and there's a cooling sensation, it's just like feels like a little little spa treatment underneath your eyes and I love to put this on every day but especially under makeup I feel like my makeup goes on a little bit better when I have that underneath so moving on to the face filter primer this stuff is super unique um, when it comes out it's just white but when you blend it into your skin it kind of turns into um, an orangey skin tone color so it kind of evens out your skin tone before you even put any makeup on which is super cool and it really just makes your skin like soft and smooth and almost poreless it's real good i sometimes even wear this primer like on days when i'm not wearing makeup just because it blurs out your skin so well and looks really pretty on so something i've been doing a ton of recently is using a liquid highlight underneath my foundation um i of course don't go on top of my foundation with other highlights but i really like the way that it looks um blended in with my liquid foundation it kind of looks a little bit i wouldn't say natural because it looks like a disco ball but it looks more like skin than like a powdery highlight on the top of my skin and the product that i've been loving is this one by makeup revolution it is their molten body glow for face and body and this is the shade I do not know. I know they have multiple, but this one is like the light champagne one. It doesn't say what color it is, which is kind of odd, but I know it says body in the name, but it also says you can use it on your face. And this bottle is so massive that it will literally last you probably your entire life because this is how much I use for both sides of my face. And it is so glowy and you're gonna think, wow, that's a lot. But because I'm putting it on before my foundation, it'll, um, it'll look 10 times better once the foundation is blended on top of it and I will not look like the Tin Man anymore. I've recently been using a new foundation. Um, I get packages from Laura Mercier in the mail frequently, which is so kind, thank you. Um, but this is one of their foundations and I've actually never used skin products by them. I've only ever used um, their eyes, lips, and like powders, but they sent me this foundation and also their concealer. This is the Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. And I have the shade 2W1 Macadamia. It's a bit dark, but they did a real good job guessing on my skin tone color. Um, so I will just lighten it up when I put my concealers on. But dude, I wore this yesterday all day long for a photo shoot and my skin looked so good and I just loved like my overall finished makeup once I had my blonde, bronzer, blush, bronzer, my blush and all of that on like at the end. It just looked so beautiful and it lasted all day long. So here is the foundation all blended out and as you can tell, it just looks like your skin but better. I would definitely say it's like a light to medium coverage. I don't know about full. Um, I have blended like three pumps on each side and you can still see um, my freckles and stuff through it. So it's definitely not a full coverage foundation and I would definitely say it's like a radiant, illuminating type of foundation. Um, the finish is 100% not matte. On my skin, since I have dry skin, I could get away with not setting it at all, but it might be like a little loosey-goosey if you have oily skin. And I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier concealer on top of that. And I have the shade 1, 
W, the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. This is really good, but it definitely doesn't have as much um, coverage as my Tarte Shape Tape, so just depends on the day and how dark my circles are, if I can get away with only wearing this. Um, but if I can kind of still see them through it, then I will go ahead and add a little bit of shape tape on top. And I get a lot of questions on Instagram about my makeup, what I use, how I do it. Oh my gosh, I want makeup to look like yours, blah, blah, blah. Um, I basically use the exact same products every single day and I have not changed how I apply it like in years. So just because I've changed my foundation and concealer this time around, I typically use the L'Oreal 24 hour um, fresh wear foundation, which was like so good that I even wore it on a wedding day good. Um, so if you're looking for a cheaper foundation, and you've never watched one of my videos before, that's real good. Um, but basically I do the exact same process. I've just switched up a bit of my face makeup and my skincare thanks to Tula. Um, and something that I always do is I just blend all the leftover concealer up onto my lid. I don't really use eyeshadow primer. I just would not spend money on an extra product when concealer could basically do the exact same thing. And I've never had a problem with concealer like skipping or anything like that when I put shadows on top of it. So. Um, that's just what works for me. And I did go ahead and add a little bit of shape tape. My circles weren't covered enough for me today. Um, and then something that I've been doing this uh, whole year, actually I got my first like cream contour product uh, like back in March and I've been using it every single day that I do my makeup and I absolutely love it. And I just love how my overall face makeup looks when I use it. It's the um, Fenty Beauty Cream Contour. Ugh. I have the shade Macchiato. It's a bit more warm, so I, I kind of use it like a bronzer and less of a contour. Um, for contour, you would want something more cool toned that's a bit more gray, so it mimics the look of an actual shadow. And for bronzer, you can get away with using something warmer because it's like, ooh girl, I have a tan, I've been in the sun. Um, so I kind of use it just as a mixture of both and just put it all over my cheek area, and I absolutely love it. I did not think I was gonna like a cream contour product, and I do. Um, I just use it on one of these ColourPop brushes. I love ColourPop brushes. All of my brushes are pretty affordable. I use either the Sephora Pro Collection, all of their brushes, and the ColourPop brushes. Um, and as always, all of them will be under in the description. Um, so I just pat on this contour. At first I just tap the cream because I don't want to smear all of the foundation that we just blended out underneath and mess that all up because I have had some trouble with that, with it like picking up the product that is underneath it. And then to blend it out, I kind of just continue to pat with this brush, um, blending it up into my temple and back into my hairline, and um, always making sure to blend like back and up and not down, just because that's gonna do the opposite um, thing that you want it to do, and it's gonna drag your face down and it's not gonna help you out at all. So always blend back and up. And then I just go back with my beauty blender that has the foundation and concealer on and I just make sure all the edges are blended out, especially right here um, on the apples of my cheeks where it starts to blend in towards my mouth. I will blend backwards because I always want to push the color back and away from the center of the face because we like to keep that nice and bright and highlighted near the center. The Laura Mercier concealer dries down really well and looks really beautiful without powder, but I've got a lot of creasage happening under there, so I always go ahead and set it, and I've always used the um, Laura Mercier translucent powder. I recently got the Candlelight Glow powder by Laura Mercier, and this just adds like a little bit of a subtle glow, so if I'm feeling like it, I kind of just dust this everywhere to speed up the, the makeup process. That way I can go ahead and go in with powders on my cheeks. So for bronzer, I know we already put some on, but I'm crazy and I'm actually gonna go in with two more. Um, I usually use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, which is an amazing bronzer, everybody knows that by now, um, from the drugstore, but mine just ran out, so I'm gonna use the Soleil Bronzer by Laura Mercier, which is another one that I absolutely love, and the Milani Baked Bronzer and also Soleil, which is kind of funny. Um, I blend the two of them together because this one is exceptionally matte and this one is super, super glittery with a bunch of gold glitter, um, so I don't love how either of them look on their own so I'm just gonna mix the both of them and just dust this all over my cheeks um, I don't like I like I said I don't do like harsh contouring or any of that I kind of just dust it in this area and I always blend up towards the top of my face around the perimeter and um, in my hairline and these any of these brushes that are like the baby pink are by ColourPop and again they're amazing and I have a coupon for ColourPop it's five Claire I believe <laughs> I'll double check on that. I just dust this right here in the same exact area that I put the cream. 
and it just kind of deepens it a bit more. If you were normal, you could stop at the first, <laughs> the first bronzer, but you know me. So the only thing I do different with the powder bronzer versus the cream is I take the more glittery one and I just dust this a little bit closer towards the apples of my cheeks, almost as it's like a blush, just because I like the warmth that it adds. And then I will also drag it across my nose a little bit just so it's not like a random pale white thing in the middle of my face. I kind of like to even out the colors by putting a little bit on my nose. And then I'll just go back in with the brush I used to set underneath my eyes and I will put a tiny bit of the candlelight glow powder, which is just like a skin tone shade. And I will blend all of the edges again, just so that everything is seamless and it's not a harsh line under here. And as it gets closer to my mouth, I will add a little bit of brightness just so that it's not carried too far in on my face. So the blush that I like to use in the colder months is more of like a berry tone. Um, this one is super terrifying when you open it because it's extremely dark. This is the Nightingale shade by Becca. This one's really good. And then I have a dupe for it by Alme, which is the Healthy Hue blush in the shade Wild Berry. So as you can see, they're literally identical. Just depends on which one I pick up first. Um, but this one I would say is a little bit more pigmented. So you have to be super careful with that one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Alme one. And this is a Sigma brush and it is the Duo Fiber Blush Brush. It's my all time favorite brush for putting on blush. How many times can I say blush and brush in the same sentence and not mess it up? Let's go. Um, so I actually coat the brush like a ton in this just to make sure that it's evenly dispersed across all of the hairs because sometimes it's not and then you go in and it's like polka dots and then blending that out is kind of hard. So I load up the brush and then I just dust it all, not all, but a lot of it off on a little towel. That way it's just evenly coated across all of the bristles and then I just smile a little bit to see where the apple of my cheek is and I just start a little bit behind my cheek and blend towards the apple because you can always like blend stuff if you like put your brush down here and blend it forward but if you put your brush down here and then start to blend all of the color is going to deposit right there and then you're going to be like oh my gosh and trying to get rid of it and that's going to be a lot harder so always start a little bit further back and then that way you can blend in. And then I also like to blend my blush up my temple and blend it in with all of the bronzer just so it's a little bit more seamless and it's not just like random patches on my face. For highlight, I've actually been using the Mary Luminizer by The Balm, which is an oldie but a goodie. I recently found it again in my collection and it was brand new. Um, but it's so good, dude. I've been using it every single day this year and now it's, I've hit the pan on it, but it is so good. Another one that I love is actually this mirror that I'm holding. This is by ColourPop and it's massive and the shade is Coastin. This one's a little bit more gold and the Mary Luminizer is just like a neutral champagne color. So this one goes with most every makeup look ever. The gold one is just a bit more yellow base, so kind of only works with certain looks, but I love the tone of the Mary Luminizer and I put this literally everywhere. Just a lot of makeup setting sprays in my life. Um, and I just recently started using the Tula Signature Glow Refreshing Face Mist. So this one doesn't exactly claim to be like a setting spray. It's just more of like a, a MAC Fix Plus that just helps take away the powdery look, makes your skin look more like skin, everything melts together. And it is amazing. It's definitely tied with makeup, nope. Oops. It's definitely tied with MAC Fix Plus for me because I absolutely adore that. I just haven't bought it in a really long time. Um, but this one is so good. Um, I, if you're afraid of your makeup falling off though, I wouldn't use this by itself. I would definitely put on a setting spray after it. But just the glow that this gives you and the way that all your makeup just melts into each other is beautiful. And it smells amazing. So for my eyebrows, nothing has changed and I'm super basic and boring when it comes to my eyebrows. And a lot of the time I literally just put gel through them because I just don't want to be bothered to fill them in. But I actually use a root powder like for your hair. Um, it's by Madison Reed and I've had this for probably two years, maybe three. And it's because it's for your roots. There's so much product in here, but it also is for your eyebrows and I, I don't know if I'm ever gonna run out of it because I use it all the time and I have so much of it. So for the price and the amount of product that you get, it's really good. I mean, it's basically just a dark brown eyeshadow, but the tone of it matches my root color perfect. So I absolutely love it. And I just run this through, um, just it's nothing to write home about. And then I will just put a brow gel on top of that. So I'm just gonna do this really quick and not show you because it's nothing to show. Welcome to Murder Mystery Makeup Monday. Shana-shana, 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 shana-shana. 
I'm Bailey Zarian. Every Monday I'm here for you. And I film on Saturdays too. I upload on Saturdays. <laughs> Every Monday I talk about a true crime story that's been heavy on my noggin. <laughs> if you're interested in true crime and you love makeup, I would highly suggest that you hit that subscribe button. Okay, so usually I start with a super duper fluffy brush. That way I can just throw on a, a shade that's a little bit darker than my skin tone and just blow out the color all across the crease. That way it just helps us with blending later on. Um, so I'm just gonna take a mix of two just lighter brown colors and I'm just gonna dust this everywhere basically. I place my brush on the outer V and then I just blend in towards the um, center of the eye in the crease and then I will Make sure all the color is basically off my brush and then I will start to slowly blend up towards the eyebrow bone. And this is my absolute favorite brush for doing that. This is the Morphe M533 and I just feel like it always does a super great job and I never have any harsh lines when using this brush. Basically how I always do my eye makeup is the exact same process every single time and I just change the colors. Um, and the concept is super easy so I'm just gonna keep getting progressively darker and blending less and less in, if that makes sense. So it's gonna be the darkest here and then blend into the lightest. But as I get a darker shade, I'm not gonna bring it in as far as I did the one right before. That way it's just like a nice gradient. So I'm just gonna get a bit of a darker color than the one we were just using. And I'm gonna use the same brush and do the exact same thing. And usually when I go in with a metallic on the lid, I like to keep it like a harsh dome shape right on the ball of the eye. Um, so something I, I like, but some people don't, is to keep like some of the darkness right here above in the crease. So I will just always blend the colors in a little bit right there. That way there's more of like a defined line when the light shimmer shade goes on on the lid. But I know for some people, they feel like that kind of closes in their eyes. Um, I don't feel like that because I feel like I have a lot of um, lid space, so I can get away with doing that. All right, so now that we're moving on to the darker, um, the darkest maybe brown that we're gonna use, I'm gonna use a smaller brush, that way I don't put too much color in too much places and then I can't blend it away. So I'm gonna use the Sephora Pro Crease number 19 brush. This actually comes in a set and I'm sure they're gonna have some really good um, holiday sets with all of their brushes for Christmas. Um, all of the brushes are so good, um, especially their eye brushes. So I'm gonna use this one and just a darker brown and I like to keep the brows pretty warm, almost orangey, but uh, again, you can use this concept and then just change up the colors. So I'm gonna place my brush exactly like where I want the outer edge to be on the like outer V, like that. And it's gonna look crazy at first, and then we'll just blend it and everything hopefully will look 10 times better. So I kind of just pack on all the color first just so that it's darkest right there and I also like to kind of do it at a diagonal and blend it down into the lash line as well I really like like the smoked out liner look um, so that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing and that just gives you like a good starting point um, and makes it easier because you barely have to put any liner on after because it defines the lash line without being harsh uh, and now we're just gonna blend 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 so I think I'm actually gonna go in with one more darker brown because this isn't as dark as I was hoping. So um, this is gonna be the last brown and this is gonna be almost like a black color because I'm gonna blend this into um, our liner across the lash line. So this is gonna be just barely on the outer edge right there. All right, so it's totally fine if the darkest color kind of gets blended um, a bit too high up onto the lid because we're gonna cover that with our metallic shade. but. I like to do that and really get it in near the lashes because it really makes it look fuller and have more depth there at the lash line without putting on like a harsh black line. Um, so for the lid color, I've been using this literally every single time I do my makeup because it's so easy and you just put it on and then you run out the door and you're good to go. Uh, it is, uh, again, Laura Mercier. I just love all of her makeup. This is their Gilded Fresco um, color and their Chrome Caviar Chrome Veil Liquid Shadow. So this is like a beautiful pinky champagne type color and I love the applicator on it because it helps me get a pretty sharp line all on its own without having to ever get a brush out. So I literally just put this all over my lid and then um, you're done basically. 
Right when you get to that outer corner, um, right before you meet the dark browns, I just take a brush and I tap and drag the color so it's not just like a random stop. And one thing you can do on the outer corner where the glitter meets the matte colors um, is dab on a deep, dark um, metallic shade to help with the edge just in case if you feel like it's a little bit choppy right there. The eyes are basically done, but I like to add, you know, just another, you know, glitter because why just wear one? Um, I got this palette by Laura Mercier for their uh, part of their holiday collection. It is the Prima Ballerina Mini Eyeshadow Palette. Um, first of all, they have a bunch of adorable holiday pieces and sets, and the packaging is gorgeous. Um, but these colors in here are actually not colors I would naturally gravitate towards. Um, so I'm excited to use them and do like an all cool look. But I love this top row right here, especially these two. These are the most beautiful like iridescent glitters. Um, so if you just pat these on top of something else, it just adds like a little bit extra and a little bit more glitz and glam. Uh, and for holidays and Christmas and New Year's, I'm all about that. So I'm gonna actually take both the pink and the white. I'm gonna use the pink on the lid and then I'm gonna use the white on the inner corner. I'm just gonna run a dark brown underneath the lash line and throw on some mascara. All right, so these are the eyes all completed. I went ahead and added a brown crown liner just right at my lash line and then I smoked it out with um, a smudger brush and I just blended it back towards the dark brown on the outer V and I did not put it all the way um, towards my inner corner just so it's like a super soft look, um, but you could absolutely wear like dark winged eyeliner and if you wanted, you could put fake eyelashes on. I'm just, I'm lazy and I don't like to put fake eyelashes on, but it would definitely complete the look if you had them and if you were like doing something fun. Um, but moving on to lips, if you were normal, you'd probably wear like a nude color, a pink color, a berry color, mauve, something like that. Um, but I'm gonna wear red. I don't even know if it's gonna go, but I'm feeling all the Christmas things, so I'm just gonna do it. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I use the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. I literally wear them every single day, and I have so many colors. They're my absolute favorite liquid lipstick that I've ever worn, and I've worn a lot. Um, this one is, I think, 01. Yeah, it's just like the most basic red red that you can get. And I just love the formula. It is so comfortable and soft on the lips, if that makes any sense. And it's so weird because it dries down completely to a matte, but it doesn't feel crunchy and they don't flake off of your lips. They are super comfy. So I really actually love how it looks together. Um, and this is the completed look. Um, back to the Sephora collection real quick. The um, cream lip stains, they literally have like hundreds of colors. So this red is not your speed. They have like, I'm sure 20 other ones, um, but they are so good if you've never checked them out. And I think they're $14, which is not crazy. And it's like high quality. So it's a bit more pricey than like a drugstore lipstick, but it's, amazing so it's worth it um so thank you so much for watching this video i hope maybe my little tips and tricks were helpful and you learned something maybe about how you apply your makeup maybe it was helpful maybe it wasn't maybe you just watched it to have fun or to get in the holiday spirit i don't know but thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed it and that you love this makeup look and you try it out on yourself see ya merry christmas baby